with the pace at which these models are getting better, I often think how it will affect even the way we consume entertainment going forward. I predict a potential shift towards hyper-individualized entertainment. Everyone will have their own private Idaho to play in, filled with custom-tailored and instantly generated entertainment. Much like Holodeck in Star Trek. Computer, this is Captain Picard. Holodeck 3 is clear. Location Paris, Café des Artistes, as it appeared 22 years ago. April the 9th, 1500 hours, 3 o'clock. Warm spring day. Program complete. Welcome to the Café des Artistes. And by the way, speaking of Star Trek, I absolutely love it, especially older shows and movies. But there is one problem though, I've seen it all many times over. So as soon as AI came on the scene, one of the first things I thought about was, what if I could just generate 50 more seasons of my favorite Star Trek shows? And this is not some wishful thinking anymore. I can't see it. We're right next to it. Incredible. Still though, being social creatures, we get pleasure out of sharing and understanding culture with other people. This creates social cohesion and we don't want AI to disturb that. But luckily for us, this is so biologically hardwired that it's not something that can be easily replaced. Let's face it, not everyone is going to be on board with your particular version of their favorite movie or franchise. This alone should guarantee the survival of the shared part of our culture. But going back to private fantasy life, I think this is where generative AI will really shine. Using Star Trek holodeck analogy once again, it's no secret that it must have been one of the most appealing and fascinating technologies from the series. I remember growing up in the 90s and coming of age in the early 2000s, I was an avid PC gamer, but seeing holodeck on Star Trek always made those games look like something out of a stone age in comparison. Aside of positive effects, Writers on Star Trek also explored possible dangers of excessive use of this technology, such as escapism and addiction to holodeck. So despite the fact that even Captain Picard would get occasionally carried away in the Matrix, you could be sure his stoic nature will always come to rescue. Why? What did I do to drive him away? Maybe you did nothing, maybe you had no choice. Maybe he was afraid. Of what? Of me? Oh, of being connected, rooted. Perhaps if he's as young as you are, he doesn't know yet exactly what it is he wants to do. Maybe... Enough of this self-indulgence. Exit! I could never have assumed that out of all Star Trek technologies, I would live to see sophisticated AI and holodeck. I thought we'd get molecular replicators way before that. Computer, another cup of coffee, black. You can add replicators to your list. 